How's everybody doing? Welcome to Living the Silver Life Home and Garden. Where have I been? What up? What have I been doing? I know you. Yeah, I do I haven't done a video in over a week and a half. <laughs> I should have had three videos up by now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I apologize, but that I did I'm doing the best I can do. Where have I where have I been? Fighting off the pain monster and working really hard on Christmas. <laughs> you can see a little bit back there. I did my buffet is the last thing that I did and in, in my touches of blue area over here. And um, I've been working so hard and the pain been so excruciating. <laughs> I'm trying to work through everything all at once. So I missed all the collabs. <laughs> I missed every collab. And um, I I made the decision that it's too much for me. I can't do it. So I just stopped doing collaborations. And I'm just doing what I do. So I've been working. I, I got the tree up pretty much by myself. My husband was supposed to be helping me with it. But he worked that day that I wanted to put it up. And I didn't want to wait any longer. So when he went to bed... I sneaked and put the tree up and I made it, um, I made it up. It's an eight foot tree and I wanted it to be like 10 to 10 to 12 feet. So I put it up on this table. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't have did that. <laughs> I, I've been doing things I shouldn't be doing. That's where I've been. And, um, so I got the Christmas trees up. I got the fireplace done finally. I'm doing the finishing touches on my entry uh, desk and mirror. And uh, I I didn't give I have no footage, none of all the things that I've done. No 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 footage. Just just one little thing for my tree because I can't I can't do the footage and the editing and all of that and deal with the pain of my back and my hip hurting <laughs> my arthritis and my degenerating back disc in my back I can't deal with all that at one time so I just did it when I could <laughs> and without the video so what I'm gonna do is uh and the one collab I wanted to do and I wanted to continue to be able to do it was the tablescape with Kimberly Davis. I really wanted to do that one. I had said and I kept watching for it and then on that particular day that was a real flare up day. That was a big you know no. So um I noticed that uh you know I'm doing a lot of uh back here touches of blue but i wanted to get in touches of blue with with um traditional at touches of blue with a traditional tablescape so i did that tablescape anyway i worked on it yesterday for those of you you're going to see on this tablescape that um i have in different clothes because this is day two <laughs> i was working on it last night and it was like two o'clock when i went to bed i could barely walk i could barely get up the stairs it was terrible. I won't ever do that again. <laughs> I will not ever do that again. My husband looked at me and he was like, what is going on? So I got orders not to do much today. Okay. I'm just going to do finish this table sky. <laughs> <laughs> and I really need to clean off that entry desk. Okay, I'm going to find me a chair and sit down. All right. I didn't tell him that. I'm going to try to get cleaned off before he gets here. Tell me to leave it alone. All right. So, I'm going to show you this traditional tablescape with touches of blue. I apologize, Kimberly. I apologize. I'm so sorry I missed your uh, collaboration. But I saw it. It's beautiful. I saw a lot of them. Ooh, I love those plaid plates. Ooh. <laughs> I couldn't get them if I wanted to. I can't go. I can't go out. <laughs> they said sixty-five and older should not go in public places where people go without masks. You know, people walking around with masks all the time. I don't go anywhere again. But those are so beautiful. Good job, Kim. I like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I'm going to show you this tablescape. Um, I. 
figured out a way to do a very unique candle holder for this tablescape. I've used this candle holder, but not as a candle holder. I use it in a different, um, last year, in a different um, decor, Christmas decor. Well, I hope you like it, all right? I pray for everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm... For those of you that have lost loved ones, you have my deepest, deepest sympathy. And I'm praying for God to comfort you and comfort your heart. And I know it's hard. And for those that are having problems in this season, I know a lot of people have problems in this season anyway. But 2020 has been a horror for everybody. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God will bless you and give you strength and comfort you. And the Christmas, this Christmas decorating, which I'm doing, I I um I don't take it lightly. I think Christmas is a beautiful time of the year, and it's the greatest gift that God gave to mankind was the gift of his son and an opportunity for us to have eternal life. So if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays, and I hope you can find something that make you feel better. And if you don't know nothing else to do, pray, 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 somebody pray. Old people say, pray until you hear from heaven, somebody pray. <laughs> pray, don't stop praying, everybody. God can just get us through this, okay? All right. I love you. And if you're alive... What? There is hope. Bye. I'm going to show you the tablescape. I'm not going to come back. I kind of promise, but I don't like to promise because I always come back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so we're going to start. I'm going to start the tablescape with this placemat. It's a kind of burgundy red with a deep, like, purple um, stripe in it. Kind of purple, that's what it looks like. It looks brown on here, but anyway, that's where we're going to start with. And so, we're going to use that first. Then, I'm going to put down uh, the chargers which look like this. They're gold chargers. Um, I've seen other people with these. And I used these before in a traditional tablescape. And it has the uh, holly right here. So that's next. And then the next thing you need is just a plain white plate. It's a... Um, I love this plate. It was given to me by a friend, but it's just a plain white, it's china. Um, it has a little gold ring around the outside of the camera, um, outside in the end, so two, two rings, gold rings. So that's the next thing, we're just going to place the plates. And then I don't want to go any further before I work on, um, trying to do the centerpiece because the table is an odd shape and there's not very much room and the table is going to be set for four but I want to put the centerpiece on before I get everything else on there and I'm just going to use some this is some the ordinary the least expensive garland you can find it doesn't even have a wire in the middle it's just like a more like a rope garland and I'm going to use that as the centerpiece base the base is the base of the centerpiece okay let's do it this is centerpiece I have two of these it's shaped like a it's a candle holder shaped like an angel and I'm gonna put them both in the center of the table so 
So here are the angel candle holders. And it's kind of hard for you to see. It's night. So that's why you see the lights on in here. Um, this is the candle right here in the middle. And that's the angel. It's shaped, the frame of it shaped like an angel. And then we're going to use a few pigs to see, to draw some interest. These are the first pigs I'm going to use. Uh, they have this blue berry uh, in it. I got it and it has this uh, little um, greenery on it that looks like eucalyptus. Two different kinds of eucalyptus actually and um and a pine cone and i i got them last year at michael's after christmas they were twelve dollars and they was uh michael's was having a 70 percent off sale and that's when i got them so I'm, I'm gonna use four of these i think let me see so i I want to try to see if I can mix a few red berries in there also because I'm going to be using touches of blue and red in this traditional tablescape. There's more traditional than it is uh, blue, but I use touches of blue in my family room and I wanted to try to use it in a tablescape. So I'm gonna to try to use this, these berries, pigs, just two of them, and see how that works. So now I'm going to use a couple of these icy pigs, like this, on each end. And so far, this is what we have. So now, I'm going to try to use a few more pigs and see how that works okay this is what we have for now I don't know exactly if this is all I'm gonna do but this is what we have for now so now I'm gonna sit the rest of the table so I have salad plates that are very traditional let me show you so here is the uh, salad plate. It's octagon shape. It's very, very traditional, but it's very pretty. Christmas tree in the middle with uh, swags on four of the sides. And the Christmas tree has ornaments and a little present under the bottom. It is a um, Fairfield fine china. I got a whole set of, I think it was, a, it was a set for eight, so it was eight plates, eight salad plates, eight cups and saucers, eight bowls, um, and it was really, it was like $24.99 at Goodwill. It was really great buy, right? And then I got, um... Also, I got, um, I think I got the platter or something like that, um, but I was excited about this. So, I have the dinner plate, but I didn't want to use the dinner plate in this setting, so I'm going to use the salad plate only on, on the white plate. I think it's going to look better. And the plate, the ornament has blue on it. So it's going to give me my touch of blue that I need for my decor in this area. So here we go. OK, 
Okay, and these are glasses I'm going to use. These are large goblet uh, size. <laughs> um, I think they're actually wine glasses, but I think it's a goblet. It's really big. You can use this one, and you can also use a small one with it if you wanted to. But I don't want to do that much. <laughs> I'm just going to use the one uh, goblet size on here. So... Okay, guys, here we go. I finally finished the tablescape. This is day two. I had to stop last night. It was too much for me. I had to quit. But here's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Christmas saucer plate. It is a octagon, octagon shape. Yes. And it has a Christmas tree on it with blue and white, red and white. A lot of little ornaments, but the one I want to bring out is the blue. The touches of blue, which is the, what I want to use in this area. Now, I only use a round salad, pl I mean a round plate. Let's see, a round plate. I showed that to you and this is the uh, charger and I showed you the charger it has a uh, holly leaves on it and then I use these beautiful little uh, blue and gold silverware on it and then on the, the napkin ring is a beautiful um, two swans. I love swans. And I told, I said once before, my husband is like swans. Swans are monogamous. They stay together for life. So they has little crystals in it, little black eyes, a little black crystal for the eyes, and beautiful little blue uh, crystals for the feathers. But it's not a peacock, it's a swan. Um, and that was, that's the place setting. So that's how it turned out. Then, here is the look of the centerpiece. And in the center, I use these, uh, candle holders here. These crystal candle holders, table candles, and then I used these two angels. Hard for me to let you see. Oh, here we go. It's they're tall. They're up tall. They're up high. So they're not as tall as they look, but it's a candle holder. And there's two of them. They're side by side, and uh, I used to. A base of uh, just a really inexpensive garland for the middle and then I layered all of these on this is how it turned out I put pine cones on it put uh, blueberries a little glittery pine cones some red berries um, the little I see like picks and pine branches. It's really pretty. 